Uh, thank you, Cahirlik, uh, and I want to acknowledge that the Minister has uh, answered a similar question and gone into great, great detail earlier. I just wanted to seek his comments and his response in relation to reports of the Hungarian uh, Justice Minister's reported plans to set up a rule of law institute hitting back at criticisms to, which, uh, in relation to decline in democratic norms in these two countries. She also said that she hoped to bring other countries in the region into this too. It is quite inflaming to say the least and I'd just like to hear the Minister's response notwithstanding the commitments he alluded to in relation to the German Presidency's efforts to resolve this issue and bring to a conclusion and, and, and also conscious of the fact that two years hearings taking place in relation to the issues that are being raised by the two countries in relation to the impressions of others in relation to them. Thanks, Deputy, and I, I share your concerns here. Um, I outlined in my earlier reply the state of play on efforts to reach agreement uh, on the MFF uh, uh, Next Generation EU package, uh, and I'm confident that the German Presidency will ensure uh, that uh, clear rule of law conditionality is retained. Uh, a, a prolonged delay in releasing funds to vital EU programmes uh, due to continued objections from Poland and Hungary would have a negative impact on the EU's efforts to deliver recovery across the Union. More broadly, uh, Ireland is a firm supporter of the rule of law and the values of the EU enshrined in Article 2 of the Treaty on the European Union. Uh, we believe that it's vital uh, for the EU to have the necessary tools to monitor possible breaches across member states and to respond effectively to challenges when they arise. The EU must insist on the highest standards from its own member states if it is to remain an effective advocate for the rule of law globally. Indeed, a very, uh, the, the very credibility of the Union, in my view, uh, is at stake on this issue. We have therefore supported strong and effective rule of law provisions to protect the EU budget. Uh, once the regime of conditionality is introduced, Ireland uh, will support its fair, proportionate and effective implementation. Uh, it is important to recognise that this regime of conditionality would strengthen the range of existing tools available to the EU for monitoring, promoting and enforcing the rule of law. Uh, these include the ongoing Article 7, Article 7 proceedings against Hungary and Poland, uh, under which there have been a number of hearings at the General Affairs Council. Ireland has been an active participant in these hearings and will continue to be. Um, we have also welcomed the publication of the Commission's first annual rule of law report this year, which presents a broad overview uh, of the rule of law situations across member states uh, and of the EU as a whole. It provides a valuable impartial assessment of both the positive and negative developments relating to the rule of law. And we actively engaged with the Commission in the preparation uh, of the Ireland chapter of the report, uh, and we welcome the independent and impartial review of the rule of law in Ireland. We look forward to discussing the Irish chapter of the report with fellow member states uh, at a meeting of the General Affairs Council during the Portuguese presidency next year.